Okay, we do know there will be a new ride at Cedar Point in 2011, but we don't know what it is and no one's talking. So we sent our Rich Geyser to investigate. Cedar Point is known for having some of the best rides on the planet. So when they announce a new ride, it's really a big deal. I, I think it will be a very exciting. It will be a very excellent addition to the park for next summer. People, a lot of people will be excited and uh, nobody will be disappointed. They're not saying much. Whatever Cedar Point has in store, it's up in the air. So that's where I went, in the Goodyear blimp. I got an aerial view with Cedar Point's Vice President of Operations, Bill Spain. He's been responsible for developing all of the big rides over the past 30 years. Surely, he'll give me a clue. About uh, what's new for next year? No, I can't. Bill is surveying the park, looking for open spaces. He's pointing to something. Could it be Sandcastle Beach? The parking lot at Soak City? Or the marina area? Did you, did you see any, any spots up there for future development? Absolutely. I saw a couple of them. Uh, what would you see? I can't, uh, can't go into it right now. The new ride will be revealed first on Facebook to the park's biggest fans. The park will leave clues and hints right up to the big announcement. We want to make Cedar Point, you know, the finest amusement park resort in, in the world. And we're, we're going to keep building. We're going to keep making it better each year. These Facebook users know exactly what they want to see in a new ride. Big hills and loop-de-loops. Something like the top fuel dragster, baby. Set more extreme. Real tall, and I want it to be real fast, and I want to have a lot of swirls and dips and stuff like that. Be surprised. Be very surprised. Whatever the park has planned, the sky's the limit. At Cedar Point, Rich Geyser, News Channel 5. Swirls, dips, and loop-de-loops.